worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. We are sent by God to bring you ministration on a daily basis. He says, give us day by day our daily bread. This ministration comes to you on this radio station every day at this time to bring you God's word from heaven that will turn your world around for good or to bring you healing word, salvation word, direction word, prosperity word, whatever may be wrong with your life or situation, when you receive God's word with his anointing and power, it clears the way. And please don't just let it be you alone. Extend it to members of your family, your friends, and your neighbors. Ask them to tune in to this radio station every day at this time. It will bless you all. We always start with faith confession, saying what the Word of God says to our lives to see definite changes. If you can be as loud in confession as we are here, please do so. If not, still be loud enough, depending on your situation. Never close your mouth or your heart. A closed mouth and a closed heart will lead to a closed destiny. Take this confession with us. Say with me, my Father and my God, I am up today again to give you glory, to give you adoration. I am a covenant child of a covenant God. My covenant blessings everywhere you are locate me today my spiritual blessings material blessings i receive you today by my covenant rights i must be changing levels the top is my place i am a city on the hill i will not be hidden so i prophesy visibility over my life i prophesy divine elevation promotion from you connection from you sweet anointing be on me today everywhere i appear wherever my children appear my goods and services let there be a sweet anointing a force of attraction the force of attention shall be on me today I am true with this present level. I am due for a new level. By the encounter of today, I am moving to that level. The level of greater resolve. The level of greater achievement. My life will give glory to God. Everyone connected to me shall feel my God. I am a light. I must shine. I am to sweeten this generation. Nothing contrary will come near me. Every arrow of death sent to my borders by fire back to the sender over my children, over my calling, over my territory. I am highly fortified. I receive help from far and near. I will call one person. A hundred people will answer me. I will not know lack. I will not know need. All traps of the enemy set against me. They shall fall into you themselves. Every power of the enemy sent to my territory. You are dismantled. You are removed. I receive a fresh anointing to do new things. I will return and give glory to God. I believe it. I confess it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Let your amen pull a miracle. Wow. You will not just be making confession. You will be seeing the manifestation of God's glory and power. From faith confession, we now come to word ministration. The word of God upholds the word. Get to know God's word, the relevant word of God, and everything about you will take a new turn for better. Do your jottings if you can, so that after 
each day's ministration at your own leisure, at your own time. You can go through these insightful teachings and apply them to your life. We are speaking to issues on this broadcast. We address human issues. Life is full of issues, but God has the virtues to turn it around. We discuss, we teach, we preach, we guide, and we pray on issues. We are currently talking on how to hear from God. Each of us should be able to hear from God. God wants you to be happy. And so he wants to lead you to happiness and to fulfillment. So God gave us different platforms for speaking to us and for guiding us. God's voice guides, God's words directs, God's words encourages, God's word is the compass and his voice to whatever we want to do. Please get to hear God's voice. You can hear God on your own. Don't let it be someone else that you go to to help you hear God. I have decision to make. Can you help me pray and tell me what God wants me to do? There are three or four men before me. Which one will be my right husband? I, I want to invest in two or three business. I want to embark on a journey. What is God saying? No, no, no. That's, that's idol worship. That's like going to witch doctors. That's like going to ask people to help you look at the crystal ball. God is closer to you than you know. God can speak for you to hear, to hear his voice. And that is the best. That is how to be led. That is how not to be lost out in the world. That is how God wants you to live, hearing and receiving from him directly. If you listen to God's instruction, you will escape earthly destruction. God speaks all the time. God speaks on all issues. But the question is, how many people hear God? How many people know how to hear God? That is why this ministration is coming to you at this time. They are part of the series of our teachings on how to. There is a how to, everything in life. No child of God must walk in darkness. No. This knowledge we are sharing here will make a huge difference between poverty and prosperity, between sicknesses and diseases, between life and death. Hearing God directly. That is why I said there are only two conditions that can make a true child of God to suffer. Number one is ignorance. When you are ignorant of the word and the way of God, this is one of which we are hearing here. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 also says, My people have entered into captivity because they lack knowledge. Lack of knowledge. Ah, you can't be better than what you know. John chapter 8 verse 32. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Get ready to know the truth and to know how to hear God. So, ignorance of the word of God. The second one is disobedience to God's word. Ah, disobedience. There are many who knows what God wants them to do, but they just willfully disobey and that to their own destruction. Look, if you can listen to God, hear his voice and follow his instruction, you will be so wonderful. If you obey him and listen, there is nothing God is asking us to do that is not for our benefit. God is like our parent, in fact, far, far better than our earthly parent. There is no parent that will ask his or their children to go and get involved in what will harm them, in what will bring trouble to them. No, every parent wants the best for their children. Can I say this to you? God wants the best for you, but you need to hear him. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. He says, For I know the thought that I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. A translation says to give you a future and a hope. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be fulfilled. God sent you here so that you can fulfill his mission and be a blessing to your generation. But you need to hear him. Hearing God directly, personally, is very, very crucial. If you don't hear God, if you leave your life to let somebody else hear God for you, then it will be terrible. Jesus was teaching 
And he said in Luke chapter 11, verses 11 and 12, if a son shall ask bread from any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? If he asks for a fish, give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If then you, being evil, know how to give good things to your children, how much more with your heavenly Father? Can you see that? God wants the best for you, but you are not hearing him. You don't know his voice. No, you need to know him. Many people know, oh, this is what God wants us to do. But they find it difficult to do. They succumb to the flesh. They allow the cravings of the flesh to take God's direction away from them. That is what is called carnality. They are like Esau in the Bible. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 16 says, lest there be any fornicator or a profane person as Esau, who for a morsel of bread sold his birthright. Did you hear that? A morsel of bread. Things that don't last. Please, never, never take a major decision in a temporal situation. Always weigh issue very well before you take decision. Because one decision correctly taken can catalyze you to the highest heaven. But one decision badly taken can bring your life down, can even kill life. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. So what many people hear and they call the voice of God are fake voices. How to hear God personally and directly. That is our teaching for now. How to hear God personally and directly. You need to hear God. There are fake people that parade themselves as God's servant just to deceive, to exploit. Please don't let your life be sheep. God is not far away from you. God is close. If only you know how to get to him. I was told recently that even there are internet frauds that now clone people's voice to deceive and to defraud. If that is happening on the internet world, on the social media, similar thing is happening in religious houses that there are fake prophets, fake pastors, fake apostles that would deceive and defraud. But you, you need not go that way. You can hear God directly. Come as we teach. Join us on our social media as I give you every day. Hear these things more. Obtain my books. Listen to these ministrations. It will separate you. God is not far. Oh yes, God is near you. And by what you are hearing here, it will clarify everything about God to you. God is not the one responsible for your problems is the way out of it. As I close, hear what Romans chapter 10, verses 6 to 8 says, But the righteousness which is of faith, speak of these wives, say not in your heart, who shall ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the deep, that is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it, the word is nigh thee, even in your mouth, and in your heart, that is the word of faith that we speak. God is close to you. God is nearby. Touch your ears and let me pray. May your ears be open, your spiritual ears, your inner ears, to hear divine direction. You won't fall into mistakes. You will end well. In Jesus' name, say amen. Oh, we will build on this tomorrow. I'm sure you are getting blessed. You can hear God yourself, and you should be hearing God yourself. God has no grandson. God has no granddaughter. He talks to everyone that has ears to listen and anyone that will seek him. He said, they that seek me shall find me. Come and let us learn the seeking so that we can all get the finding. We will build more on this tomorrow. Listen to people's testimonies. Good day, Daddy. My name is Adeni Babatunde from Abekuta. I return all glory back to Almighty God. I want to testify what God has done in my life. The day Daddy asked us to lay the currency on our forehead, I did it with faith. To my surprise, the next day I received a lot of 200,000 from my childhood from USA without asking. Thank you very much. Your anointing will not dry in Jesus' name. My name is Mercy Joseph. I want to thank God for his faithfulness. Daddy asked us to raise up a currency in the country that we based. 
and he prayed for us. And that same week, a friend of mine sent me money from Germany. I want to say, Father, I thank you. I give you glory because you are a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Daddy, for your tireless efforts to make us to fulfill destiny in Christ Jesus. Good morning, church. My name is Evelyn. I'm here to return all the glory to my maker. Mm. Friday was my birthday, wow. and the kind of gift I received, I have hey. never. Hey. I just want to thank you, Daddy, for yes. always praying for us. Yes. That we should believe, and God has really done it for me. Wow. Honestly, I don't know how to thank him, because up to yesterday, I'm still receiving Yes, so. To his name, Ma we still come. praise. Ma we still come. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Akeju doing? I've come to praise God this yes. morning mm. for the gift of life. Gift of life. I want to thank God that he's been the father of the fatherless, the hope of the hopeless, and the help of the helpless. Mm. Over my life, over the lives of my children, I mm. have a son and a daughter. Wow. He has been the one providing, protecting us all along. On July 3rd, suddenly my daughter called me from her school because she's at uni life. She just told me she has been having pains. I told her to go and have a bath. She did. She said she couldn't get up. She couldn't. I told her to dress up, but she said she could not dress up. She couldn't even get up again. Mm. So I had to go and pick her from school. Took her straight to the hospital, and she was diagnosed of subacute appendicitis. And we had to go for the operation the next day. So I want to thank God for deliverance. I mm. laid mantle while mm. at the hospital. Mm. I want to thank God because she's back at school now, That's writing right. exams. That's right. I also want to thank God for my daughter is a year older today, mm. and my son is also a year older by That's July right. 30th. Praise the they Lord. They will grow up to be great for you. I'm Okwawu Patience. I want to return all glory to God for what he has been doing for me and my family. I want to testify to the glory of God for successful completion of the graduation my son and my daughter did yesterday. They graduated, the boy graduated from primary to secondary, while the girl, the small girl graduated from nursery to primary i want to say god thank you and not just that he graduated my boy graduated on his birthday and everything went on successful i want to thank god because god has been so faithful to him all through the time he was in school he was coming out first 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 and nobody was able to take it from him he even made the head boy I want to say, God, thank you, because this the secondary school is about to enter. I pray that God will continue to give him wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be able to excel in his secondary school, in the university, all through his life. May his name be praised. I thank you, God, for everything and all the things you've been doing for my family. May your name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm here to testify to the goodness of the Lord for what God has done for me. Last week, I came here and I prayed to God miraculous way. I did not even pray for my son's scholarship. And that scholarship is, is just by... Pray, writing an exam for it, but God just favored my son. They just picking out from school. He didn't write his exam. He didn't do anything, but just favor find him out in his school. He was given a scholarship through from GSS school to to SS3. I praise the Lord. I return all this glory unto God for what He has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Rosalie Otto. I appreciate the name of the Lord for what he's doing in my life, in my family. Mostly, last week, I have pain since last year. It's only me and my husband that know what I'm passing through. So, I don't want even to come last week. I just like that. My children, you are not going again. I'm not going. Suddenly, I just stand up. I say, God want to do something in my life that day. So when man of God was praying, he said, we should touch where 
they use the anointing oil to touch where he's paining you. That is how I did it that day. Since last week, I didn't feel the, the pain again. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mrs. Janet Lawrence. I'm here to return all the glory to God. I've been having pains in my bone, inside my bone. So for a while now, well, yesterday when I was about to go to sleep, I was like, what do I do? I prayed, but the spirit said I should anoint my mantle and then put it there. I wish I did. And this morning too, I felt the pains again. But when I was about to go to the bedroom, I was there already. I was like taking my bath then. The priest still told me that I should go and take the blessed uh, water, which I put small inside the water. And when I took the, uh, my bath, I found out that uh, the pains have, have, have gone. Hallelujah. Wow. You will not just be hearing people's testimonies. You will have testimonies to give. We are now receiving voice note testimonies on WhatsApp. So we can use your testimony for God to bless you more. If you fail to give your testimony of what God has done, you have blocked him from doing new things in your life. Then you have denied people the inspiration to also believe God for their own miracle. And the devil can steal a miracle if the recipient is ungrateful enough not to give the testimony. And how? It is easy. Open your WhatsApp and record your testimony. Just for one minute, let it be short, be loud and clear. Put the phone close to your mouth and speak as if you are speaking to a thousand or five hundred people before you as loudly as i'm saying it here start by introducing yourself my name is so 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 and let them have the excitement in your voice as you give your testimony then send it to our number 080 555 8377 080 do so now is today your bad day let me pray for you I always pray for the celebrant every day. Put your hand on your chest. May God bless you. May God bless your bad day and bless your new age and open great doors for you and then lead you in the path of righteousness. You are blessed. You will never come down. Now, join us on our live broadcast every Monday and Friday. Mondays and Fridays, tell me Manuel live broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Write this down on a paper, pin it to your back room door so you can remember or near your bed every Monday and Friday, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Nigeria time before you retire to bed. Join me on Facebook, on YouTube, on TikTok, on Instagram for a time of sharing and prayers. It will bless you tremendously if you can do so. Have you connected to our social media platforms? What you listen to on radio is one off, but what we send to your WhatsApp and your Telegram is there, and your Facebook. Join me, please. It's very easy. Search for the real Femi Emmanuel on your social media platforms. The word "real" is R E A L, R E A L. Search for the real Femi Emmanuel on your Facebook. Like and follow real Femi Emmanuel on Instagram. Follow the real Femi Emmanuel on TikTok. Follow and like The Real Femi Emmanuel on YouTube. Subscribe and turn on notification. Do so now. It will bless you tremendously so you will like it. Then I invite all my listeners in and around the battle to this Sunday's two services holding at Dominion City, Adulogu bus stop, along the war road or Joe, Express Road, Ibadan. That is the church that I have the privilege to pastor. I am not a denominational pastor, but sent by God, anointed by God, prepared by God to be an illumination to you. Jeremiah 3.15, he said, I will give you pastors after my own heart that will teach you knowledge and understanding, such as I daily teach here. I am God sent to you. Come this Sunday. We run two services at Dominion City every Sunday. First service is 7 to 9 a.m. early in the morning, two hours only. Our services are not long. They are short, short services. Second service follows immediately, 9 to 11 a.m. We position coastal buses at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibado, and Poplar Petrol Station, Iwo Road, 
to bring people to the two service to and fro, two services to and fro, you only need to pay a token. This Sunday is our covenant day of prayer and thanks, praise and thanksgiving service. Come, come, come and let us sing and dance before God. Thanksgiving is application for more. As you thank God for what he has done, you commit him to do a new one. Commit him to do new things. Bring your children. We have a wonderful children's setting that will help you nurture your children to be great for you and the Lord. Bring your sons and daughters, teenagers, 8, 13 to 19. We have a wonderful teenage church to prepare them to be glorious in the future. Oh, we have ample car park, serene and protected. Come in your car. Come in commercial vehicles and come in all the buses we position at Songo and Iwo Road. Oh, we'll be waiting for you this Sunday at Dominion City. Then communities that are close to Dominion City, I always invite you. So all residents of Timidiri Estate, Samba Morayo Hotel area, Olon Tedo Estate, Jakon area, Adoloju Community, Iano Bodija, Ori of First Street, Alagbanyo Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Barika Water, Ojo, Bashonu, Urugun, Ashi, Bodija, Major Salau area, MFM Bus Stop area, General Gas, Akobo area, Akalawe, and University of Ibadan. All these communities that I just mentioned, you are not far from Dominion City at all. Some of these within a trackable distance or a drop or just walk for 20 minutes, 15 minutes, drive your car for a short time and you are there. All roads lead to Dominion City, Aduloju bus stop, along the World Road Dojo Express Road this Sunday, Covenant Day of Praise and Thanksgiving Service. Oh, come, you will find fellowship, you will find joy. You will have seen people trooping and trooping and trooping there. Join us, we are one big family of love, of anointing, of power. What is left for me now is the prophetic blessings for the day. Receive it. All embargoes against you are lifted. Yeah. All obstacles against you are removed. Yeah. From now on, you have a smooth sailing. Yeah. I command ease into your atmosphere. It shall be easier. When others are saying there is a crashing down, things are tough, things are difficult, we are hungry, we are angry, your case will be different. There was darkness in Egypt, but light shone in Goshen. Your case will be different. The light of heaven will shine on you. The grace of God will work for you. Strange favors. Strange helps, strange assistance, strange resources, strange support becomes your portion from today. Everything that has your name on it is favored. Everything that has your name on it is assisted. You will not run short of resources. God's sweet anointing shall be higher on you. You and Jesus cannot fail. You and Jesus cannot be down. Amen. You are lifted up. Amen. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Amen. Far above principalities and powers. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Go out blessed. Amen. Return blessed. Amen. Serve God in plenty. Amen. In good health. Amen. Long life. Amen. And peace of mind. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. Say another amen. amen. Wow, you will not just be receiving these prophetic blessings, they will become the realities of your life. We will build more on this tomorrow. Family Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.